So in the case that your BEB unit is not displaying properly in the SPX plus web UI, the first procedure is that you will log into the uh, SPX plus um, user interface and remove the BEB from um, being paired with the SPX. So if your BEB unit has been previously connected to your main SPX plus, and now it's grayed out here, so I cannot uh, select it anymore. So for whatever reason, the connection um, has failed between our main SPX plus and our BEB unit. So the procedure for reinitializing this, um, first thing is we need to remove the BEB unit um, from the SPX plus. So you log into the uh, web UI of your SPX and um, you'll go to the sensors and here you'll see the various sensors we've got um, and our BEB unit. So if we select the BEB unit and we disable it, that will now remove the BEB unit so it's no longer listed here in our um, list anymore. Once you've done this, you can then proceed to the next stage, which is to do the reinitialization procedure on the hardware itself. Now once you've done that, um, we can start the reinitialization procedure on the hardware itself. So the procedure for this will be to uh, disconnect the, the BEB um, cable and you're going to push and hold down for five seconds the reinitialize button here. And you'll see that it, the LED will blink quickly. When that's done, you can then release and reconnect the BEB again. And now the reinitialization procedure will begin. And once connection has been reestablished, you'll see the yellow LED will come back on and be blinking. So now the reinitialization procedure has been completed. We log back into the web UI of the SPX Plus. We can see our BEB unit is displaying here with the correct modules attached. And we can, of course, then go into our sensors here and we can online additional dry contacts or whatever other modules um, you have on your BEB unit.